Hey everybody, um, welcome to week one of the RoboChargers CAD class. I have broken the CAD segment this week up into two parts. This first part, we're going to go over making an account, um, getting some of the uh, plugins and feature scripts loaded, um, getting you guys into the RoboChargers workspace. Um, and then part two, we'll, we'll go into kind of some more of the CAD topics um, once the account and everything is made. Um, if you are not a RoboChargers member or if you um, are an established RoboChargers mentor with a, an Onshape account that's already set up and everything, you can pretty much just skip this video and just go on to part two. So um, most of uh, our Onshape accounts are through the RoboChargers.io emails that all of you guys have. Um, some of you will have received this invite email. Um, don't um, click on it or really do anything with this email just yet. Um, we're going to follow a different process to, to make the account if you guys don't already have one. So most of the Onshape setup stuff is going to be through this website called Onshape, the number four, frc.com. Um, this is a really great resource that some members of the FRC community have put together. Um, we're kind of just going to work through the steps on this website because it's honestly the easiest way um, to um, get people onboarded in FRC um, in, in Onshape. Um, prove this. So there's a, a few different areas of the website um, outside of the CAD class. If you guys want to browse through this, watch any tutorials, do anything that's on this website, everything here is great. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start with this getting started section. You can you can click on it up at the top, or you can just click on the start learning button. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to this this link here on shape.com forward slash education plan. Um, if you go onto on shapes website and you create an account um, just through their normal like sign on process, you will be given um, a lower tier um, of account than you will get through this link. This link is for education. It has some more features in terms of um, document sharing and, and permissions and things like that, um, that if you're working on a team with multiple people designing an FRC robot or an FTC robot, you're, you're going to want those features. So you don't want to go through just the normal on shapes website sign on process. Um, there is also a, an upgrade path. If you have an existing Onshape account that is not a, um, an education license, there's a way to upgrade to it, um, but I'm not gonna go over that in the video. You can just contact me or, or post in the Slack and, and we'll get, get it worked out if you are not on the correct tier. Um, so we're gonna just go ahead and uh, hit um, sign up. Um, and I just have kind of a dummy uh, account that I'm just going to walk you through the process and then for the, probably the rest of the class I will just use my personal account um, but we're going to go through this process here just so that we have a um, um, an example so this is just an email that we created you would obviously uh, put your email in here like I said earlier we prefer you use your robochargers.io email but there's no actual like reason that you have to do that if you have a personal account or something, but this is preferable. Um, you'll obviously select which one, um, doesn't really matter. I guess we'll, we'll do student, um, grade school, agree to the terms, and then uh, create, there we go, okay. Um, obviously, if you are a RoboCharger student, you'll fill out this information. If you're um, an outside, uh, from an outside team, you'll fill in how whatever's relevant here. Um, we will do uh, I'm just going to put in our email. None of this really matters. I'm just I was just typing in United States 
graduation year, just whatever, it doesn't matter. They just use this for tracking. Yes, 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 creates. I am not a robot. Boats. So uh, once you've gone through that process, you come back over here and, and do the normal um, activation process, click on that button. Um, now we're gonna create in a password, obviously. Oh, I have to do. Add some characters here, do something secure. Okay. All right, um, this is somewhat important. Um, the defaults should be fine. Um, there's some, some other options here um, that we'll go over in a second. So everything here is fine. I always turn decimal places up though. It's really annoying having a low number of decimal places. So this is just personal preference. You can change this stuff later. Um, um, if you are familiar with CAD, you may have preferences here. We're gonna go over these controls in part two. I'm just gonna leave it as on shape default, but if you're coming from other CAD or something, you can change these and then you can always change these in the options later. Not gonna change anything here. And then basically what it's doing here is because on shape is relatively graphics intensive. It's going to kind of optimize some of your settings and things here. So we are done. Okay, so let's let's go back to our email real quick here. Um, if if you're a RoboCharger student or other team member, if I sent you this invitation, um, you should over here on the left side of the screen under Teams. Be able to expand the little arrow and you should see RoboChargers. Um, obviously, if you are not a RoboChargers men member and um, you're watching this video, this will be something different. Um, you can go through the process about creating a team and inviting all of your team members and getting that all set up. That's all on this on Shape for FRC website. You can kind of follow through um, some of those steps there and you will get a similar um, team list over here that shows up. But uh, for RoboChargers people, this is the area where we work on all of our CAD that's team related. So FRC, FTC, everything is in here. Um, so what we're gonna do um, for the CAD class is head into this 21-22 folder. And we're gonna go to CAD class. Um, in here, I've created some, some user folders. I probably don't have everyone I just kind of went based on the people that filled out the form and some people that I talked to that I knew were coming. If you are coming to the CAD class and I missed you, that's you know no big deal. Just uh, send me a message in Slack and I will create the folder. Um, please don't create the folder yourself. Onshape's a little bit weird with how it does ownership and stuff, and it's kind of a pain to, to deal with um, folder ownership specifically. Um, so if you would just message me and, and I'll create your folder for you. Um, all right, so before we really get in uh, to this any farther, let's jump back over to this website over here. Um, we've been we've been working through these steps here for creating your account. Um, the next step is going to be doing this MKCAD parts library, um, except I'm going to jump over to this uh, slightly different page that says CAD library up at the top. So we'll click on that. Same steps, but it's got some other links we're going to use down at the bottom here in a second. So MKCAD is a, a parts library that is specific to FRC and kind of FTC as well. Um, it allows you to, to insert um, components manufactured by, by different companies um, directly into your designs. And so um, this is a very useful core feature that we're going to be using um, 
as part of the CAD class and then as, as we design our robots in the upcoming seasons. So this is something we need. This is created by community members and it basically acts as a plugin that just you add and, and um, gives you the ability to pull these common parts into your assemblies. So um, all you have to do is click on this Onshape App Store link, go over here, click subscribe. Um, it, it's subscribe because it, it has updates and things that kind of stream to you automatically because it's all web-based. Um, subscribe basically just means add it to your Onshape account. Um, it's free, so you just click get for free. You get this little pop-up, you can just close, and that's all you need to do. It's literally that easy. Um, we will check to make sure that installed here in a second. Um, but what we're going to do next, I'm going to ignore all this. Well, I'll show you how to use MKCAD a little bit later in the CAD class. Um, so I'm not really going to go into a lot of it now. We're just going to make sure we got it added. Um, the next thing we're going to do is this feature scripts thing. Um, so we're going to go to back to Onshape. Um, in the CAD class folder, in whatever your user is, make sure you're in your user folder, not somebody else's. Um, I'm going to, you can right click, or I guess you can't right click. Um, you can click the drop down list and click um, uh, create document, and then you're going to give it a, a, a name. I'm going to do week one, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add my name to it. That'll be a little easier. And click OK. Now it'll take you to the actual. Um, um, like on shape modeling interface. Um, so down here at the bottom, you can see um, a couple of tabs. If you make sure you click on the, the assembly one um, and go over here, um, you can see that there should be an icon that shows up over here for MKCAD and it's not there. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Um, so we'll check back later to make sure that got added. If not, I'll, I'll go through some troubleshooting steps. Um, so for now, what we need to do is we need to be in this interface to add um, the feature scripts. So we actually need to be back in the part studio to do this. And then what we're going to do is this little plus right here called add custom features. You need to click on that. Or if this doesn't show up for you, maybe you're on a smaller monitor or something, you can click in the search tools and add custom features and then click on that. Um, there are more tools here. Um, so you, you'll sometimes use the search bar to find tools that you can't see as an icon. So that's something to get used to doing is if you can't find a tool, just search it real quick. It's super fast. All right, this little dialogue comes back up. This is what we're ready for. So let's go back to our, our uh, Onshape for FRC page. Um, these feature scripts here, these are specific to FRC and FTC, mostly FRC. They are basically little um features that shortcut complicated modeling steps for for different robot components and basically you know turn a, a long portion of the design process into a, a few clicks um, basically repetitive stuff that that you're going to do multiple times or every team is going to do these these feature scripts kind of turn all of those into a simple process so we're not going to add all of these um, we're just going to add the ones that I have personally found useful up to now. We may add some more later in the CAD class, but we're just going to add a few for now that we know we're going to need. So um, basically what you could do is you find <clears throat> in this list the ones that you want, and you basically just cop click this, this link, um, this copy link button. It just copies the link to your clipboard. You go back to Onshape. And um, why is it making me refresh here? That's weird. Sometimes it does that if you're inactive for too long, although it's weird that it did it that fast. Okay, anyways, we're going to go back to this add custom features thing. And you basically just, basically just paste, you know, just control V or right click paste in this, this box, hit enter, right? And then it shows um, every, every feature script is in kind of a collection. So you, you click on that and then all the feature scripts show up in this list. Um, now, um, this is organized basically by user. So like these are all Julia's feature scripts. Um, she makes a lot of feature scripts and a lot of the ones that are on this page are from her, but there's also some some other people that have created some. So and we're gonna just go ahead and just add all of the ones that say made by Julia on them, um, the ones that, that we need anyways, and then we'll go through and add the, the ones from other users.
So we want um, we want extrude individual. You just click on it. Once it's highlighted like this, it's added. Um, let's see. I don't want this belt one. Don't want any of these. Um, we want fillet expert. I'm not going to add gusset generator just yet. Um, we definitely want shaft. We definitely want spacer. We definitely want tube converter. Um, might as well do motor mounting as well. I've used that one a few times. The gusset generator, like I said, we'll leave that one off. Okay, so then um, that's all you need there. So once these are selected, you can just close this out. And if you click this little drop down list here, you can see they show up in this list. And what you would do, these effectively work like any tool on this toolbar, which we'll, we'll go into later, um, where you just click it, it opens up the dialog box and you, you kind of just follow the steps through to, to use the feature. Um, we'll show how to use all of these later in the CAD class as we work through some different projects and things. Um, but for now, let's let's finish adding these. So we did cube converter. Um, I don't really use this custom length extrusion one. We did fillet expert. We did shaft. We did spacer. Didn't do gusset. Lighten is the other one that we need. Copy link. Go back. Click add. Paste the URL. Come on. Paste the URL. Hit enter. Click. Click. Done. All right. Let's see. Plate generator. That's fine. Belt generator. This is one that we're going to want. Let's go back, add, paste, enter, click, and then it is a FRC belt calculator is what it's called here. And then close. Uh, already did motors, part numbering, laser joint. Some of these other ones, these T-slots, laser joints, we might add later, but um, we'll see. Okay, so that's all we need for feature scripts for now. Now, if we go back to, ooh, okay, cool. Um, if we go back to the assembly here, you can see this MKCAD icon has popped up. Like I said, it, it just takes a minute sometimes. So, um, yeah, as long as this shows up, you know that your subscription to MKCAD has has um, been successful. Um, basically, between the MKCAD and the feature scripts that we just went through and added, um, that's all of the stuff that you need to add to your account. Um, once you've done that, once you've made sure that you were you were in the team, like I showed earlier, the RoboChargers team, once you've added the feature scripts and once you've added MKCAD, you're, you're basically all set up, you're ready to go. Um, I mentioned earlier, something I, I forgot to mention earlier, is if you look down here in this main on-shape screen, you see this like subscription education. Um, I can't remember what the, what the like base tier is if, if it's like hobbyist or if it's if it's like subscription free i can't remember what it's called but there's one tier below education that doesn't have some features that you might need working in a team so if if this does not say subscription education let me know um you if you that's usually happens if you make your account not through the the education link on on shapes website so just make sure that this says that and you followed through all the steps to add all the, the the custom features that we talked about and then you will be you'll be good to go um in part two we're going to talk about uh, some more um specific um cad tools kind of go over the interface and how to how to rotate the model around and view it in 3d and things like that um and then that will finish us off for this week so I will see you in part two.